Hey gang, Tony here once again, this time with a box of Dread unboxing, which we haven't had in what feels like a while because this was late. Um, as you know, they, the box of Dread has had some trouble with their, you know, shipping dates and they got back on track for February. Their February box was the first one in a long time. Well, I guess it, technically the, the January one was on time as well. Um, and they finally kind of got stuff back together only to sort of lose it a little bit this past month because obviously it's mid-April and I'm unboxing the March box. Now I do have to I do have to mention that when I was looking at my tracking my personal one said that there was some kind of like train derailment apparently that that uh, also caused some of the delay but at that point it was already into April as it was I think it was around April 5th or 6th and then this had some kind of train derailment thing which caused it to be even later. So this might not have been as late if it wasn't for that, but it was still a little late. Um, and I know people are pissed off. I know people are like complaining about that. And of course they have a right to, you know, if you buy a box and you expect the box uh, at a certain point, you know, that's part of the business model. So I'm not going to try to defend that or anything. Um, I just keep saying that I hope that they get their stuff together and you know get the boxes out on time and future ones but uh let's see what's in the box all right so we have our letter as usual this is women in horror month and sexual assault awareness month uh or as i like to call it look around you there are jackasses everywhere month we have a mad max funko pop for a furiosa This is a little bit of a return to form, I guess, for um, for the Box of Dread. I, I don't think I've gotten a pop in a little while from them. Looks like we have a poster here. So the pop, you know, I mean, that's cool. I'm sure some people are going to say Mad Max is not a horror movie. Why is it in a horror box? And there's always that kind of stuff. And then other people who just don't want pops anymore. Um, you yeah, know, fair enough. A signed, uh, a signed poster... Ah! Open up you. It's for Imitation Girl, a film by Natasha Kermani. And there's a couple of signatures on there at the bottom. I guess you could see that, I hope. It's a really thick poster. This is like much, much thicker cardstock than they usually have their posters on. So that's neat. Um, I don't, I'm not aware of this movie and I don't know who those signatures are from. All right, so it says, in all things Lauren Ashley Carter, which is uh, the curator this month, you will find a signed poster of my newest genre film, Imitation Girl, directed by Natasha Kermani. I guess one of these signatures is probably Lauren Ashley Carter. It is. That's the LAC there. And the other might be the director. It's kind of hard to tell, I, you know. They, uh, she didn't really say specifically, so I'm not, I'm gonna assume it is, because that's the only other name they mention. Alright, so that's the poster, very cool. I mean, I dig a signed item, and it's a, I definitely want to check that out. We have a, a shirt, which, um, I'm very happy about. I like when they have the shirts in the box. That's been a new, a new addition to the box of Dread. Uh, this is a Dread Central, uh, shirt. And I really like their their logo, so I'm cool with this. Um, I'm not always like into branded stuff, but I I do like their logo quite a bit. So I uh, I'm very happy about the shirt. Nice heavy duty shirt. Uh, got my size right. 100% cotton. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, we also got a movie here. Uh, this is the best scanner sequel we ever got. According to Film School Rejects, The Mind's Eye, uh, from the director of Almost Human. Lauren Ashley Carter is in this movie, so that explains its ad addition in the box as well. Very cool. This is also signed. It looks like the, so the Soska, Soska twins. Sisters. Soska sisters? Twins? Psycho Twins? <laughs> I forget what, the Evil Twins. Uh, it's a, a print 
that is signed by the artist. Speaking of twisted, uh, twisted twins, there you go, twisted twins. I've decided to share this vessel with a gorgeous and trippy art print of the Soska sisters created by Danielle Batsheva. Uh, hang it in your bedroom, ba ba ba. Okay, and you know, she kind of goes on and talks a little bit in the letter. Like I said, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. But there you have it. That is this month's or last month's Box of Dread. We have a signed Soska Sisters uh, print. We have our Mad Max pop figure. Going with the, uh, the Badass Babes Women in Horror uh, theme, of course, Furiosa. That makes sense, even though it's not entirely horror, but it makes sense. And the movie, The Mind's Eye, and our signed poster, Imitation Girl, and of course, our uh, Dread Central t-shirt. All right, they made us wait a little longer than a lot of people probably wanted to have to wait, but frankly, that was a pretty kick-ass box, all right? I mean, you know, not being biased here, you guys know that I get these boxes for free as review boxes. So, you know, take what you will from that. I've always tried to remain, you know, impartial, even though that is the case. Um, I mean, I'm going to watch the movie. I don't know if the movie's any good or not, but I'm going to watch it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Pops, but, you know, whatever. You know, Pop is a Pop. Uh, at the very least, it could sell it for 10 bucks, probably. <laughs> I like the print a lot. I'm not a huge fan of prints, but I do like this one quite a bit. Uh, the shirt is a win for me. The signed poster is a nice addition. It's good. I like it. If I'm being, if I'm, if I wanted to try to be critical, well, I've already said what I would would have said critically about the pop. And prints and posters are always going to be kind of like a give and take, right? A lot of people say, well, you know, I, I'm one of them, right? I, I constantly tell you guys I have nowhere to put posters and stuff, so it's not like I'm going to be framing these anytime soon. Not like they're going to be on my wall. They could probably go in the closet until I have more room or something. But I've blathered on long enough, and I'm getting really hot. It's a hot day. It got to like 70 today. Um, happy Friday the 13th. Uh, look into Box of Dread if you're interested, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, see you.